Hi, I'm June, the Happy Thai Girl. Are you ready to make homemade Chinese dumplings with a yummy dipping sauce? According to my daughter, Amy, it's so easy. So let's try it together. Today on Cooking Made Easy with June, brought to you by Macy's, the Happy Shopping Store in Spongebob. Welcome to Cooking Made Easy with June. We have a special guest today, my daughter Amy, who just got back from New York. Well, <laughs> I um, so of course as missionaries, if you're not members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, they do their own cooking most of the time, and especially with um, the situation where we have to stay home. So Amy actually made her own dumplings, and I'm a little bit nervous, Amy, because mm. I've never made them. That's okay. But we're going to do it, and you can help me. Okay. So, well, I'll help you, right? Yes. So the first thing is we do the, according to the recipe, we're going to do two cups of flour. So the dumpling wrappers are a little bit, you know, takes a little more time. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start right away because we have so much to do. Yes. So let's do this. This is how much flour is in here? Two cups. Two cups of flour. Yes. And let me get you some hot water, right? Yes. So it calls for how much hot water? Read um, on there It for me. calls for... Uh, three quarters, oh, is it? I think. <laughs> yeah, no, just three fourths cup. Yeah, three fourths hot cup. Water. So, mm -hmm. so now, luckily, I have a, I have a tap water that's really hot, where it gets hot. Now, you may want to boil, right, mm -hmm. and let it sit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So go ahead and um, do you want a spoon? Let me grab you. A spoon. I just use my hands. Oh, okay. But I mean, like, you can get. Well, a spoon I think you need you your spoon because it's hot, and then once it gets, go ahead. Okay. So go ahead and go ahead pour. Just pour it in. Yeah, slowly. There we go. And then you. I've noticed like sometimes the wa the round water isn't enough sometimes, okay. and so I'll add just a little bit more if I need oh, to. Okay. Unless I was really bad at measuring, because I <laughs> just added <laughs> it. So, but yeah, I just do that. Okay, so go ahead. I'll let you finish. It. So okay. she's going to stir up the dough and then you're and then make a ball mm -hmm. and start kneading it, right? Yes. Okay. So while she's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and um, start the sauce. But okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll just use the same bowl yes. to make the sauce. Use the yeah. Bowl. Okay, the sauce is a half cup of soy. Did you already measure this or do I need to measure? I measured that. Or a half cup of soy. That looks yes. like so much. That's two, no, it's two cups. <laughs> oh, did I do two cups? Oh, oh Wait, that's okay, half, that's a half a cup. Really? Yeah. Hey. Okay. Let me see. Did a I do it wrong? Cup. Yes, oh my gosh. No, it's half. There's no way this is a half, really? No, I, I chose right. one, I don't know. Oh, yeah, oh my gosh. Oh. My daughter, I was, yeah, why does it look so much to me? But we would just make the sure. Bowl. But yeah, that's fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Half. Okay, go ahead and start kneading. Kneading. Like, put it together, okay. right? Yes. It's been a second for me, too. <laughs> but it'll be good. It'll be good. Okay, so we have a half cup of soy and a tablespoon of rice vinegar. All right. Um, let's see where the main... I'm just going to use the cap. It's about a tablespoon here. Hmm. Yeah, right there. Yeah, just one, I think. Okay, and then um, a tablespoon of sesame seeds, so about like that. Mm -hmm. And then that's it, and a and teaspoon of sriracha. sriracha. Yeah, goodness. I know it's really easy. That's easy. I know. You were really excited. I, I, I am so tempted to put some sugar in it. Why? Because I just love the sweet. You can um, put sugar in it because it's more of a like a savory. soy sauce. Yeah, more savory. But I just if you wanted feel like the sweeter. This is not gonna taste. You can change it if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Whatever. you know, it's up to you. I just, I just like it a little sweeter. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a little bit of sugar, maybe a tablespoon, yeah? Sure. Yeah. Okay, so let that sit and dissolve. I know, you guys, I can't help it. It's just my Thai nature, sweet soy. I love it. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'll put this in here, the sauce. Mix quite All a bit. All my companions loved that sauce. Without the sugar? Well, they just like loved it. Oh, it's, I'm sure it's good with sugar, but I'm yeah. saying they liked it. So awesome. it was really good. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put this over here. So how's it going over there? It's going pretty good. Okay. It's turning into So dough. now it looks a little crumbly, cause, um, but it's, that's how it should look. Because, you know, at first I thought, what the heck? It's like really, um, it's not smooth. It's just water and flour. And then we um, actually let it sit aside for about 45, uh, 15 to 20 to two hours. But also you can put it in a Ziploc bag and then put it overnight into the refrigerator. So I'm gonna grab a bag for you. And I already have another bag ready. 
So is that good kneading or? I think so. Okay. It, so when you yeah. get all mostly incorporated like that, we yeah. just put it in here. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to put this one. Now make sure that you have the, get all the air out of here. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then most of the air out as much as you can. And then we'll put it in the fridge. Okay. So I put this overnight and I have another bag um, ready. I'm not going to open the fridge too far because my fridge is not that clean yet. <laughs> okay, so here we have um, the dumpling. Wow, so um, fast. Yeah. <laughs> so, Amy, so how, what do you do from here? Um, I, so is that good? Put a little flour? Is that what you need? Yeah. There's a cutter? Go for it. Go ahead. You do it. No, yeah, I just, yeah, I don't really have a lot of good, like, tools in my apartment so I used the I used the cup to roll it out so we so, have rolling pin so we have a rolling pin now so I would just uh, um yeah I just kind of cut it in into I did it different every time because I was trying to figure out how to do it no I could be kind of watch I kind of no watched, yeah um, but I would like so I, I think what I, we do is roll this out oh, first okay. like this okay. I remember seeing them they roll it out oh, it oh. Did, the instructions did say something about like make it into like a, a circle thingy oh why and I don't and then you cut it and then you roll out so that it makes it circular I'm confused. But you I mean, never, if you go like so, this? Yeah, something like, well, yeah, basically just like that's fine. And then you cut it. <laughs> but like, it would say like, you know how like in, um, you know that one Disney short? Oh, bow. bow. Oh my bow. gosh. Every Can time you, I see that Disney short, no. where, is that what that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, at the beginning, it has So I would shows, say about a one inch. It's yeah, like doing like that. But yeah. Happy, so yeah. let's do one inch. Okay. And um, the trick is when we do put it together. <laughs> Okay, so I'll put this here. Okay. Do you want to help me, and then we'll we'll do some of that. Yes. Is that? Let here, me Tyson. Wanna... Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Did you just call me Tyson. <laughs> no. Did oh, I call thought, you Tyson? I thought you did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys are all my kids. So I roll I'm it. sure I'm not the only you want one. Don't roll done it that. like this. Like. I don't know. You because you want don't you want a circle? Yes. Okay, so you just roll it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're holding it. I've We're never done this before. Oh, but how do okay. you normally do it? Oh, I don't know. I just kind of do it. I see. Well, no, this is good though. Okay, so you roll so it. So I've seen it on the um, where they, yeah, you roll yours over oh, here. Okay. Where they um, make it look uh, like they just roll into a circle like that. I don't think it has to be perfect. Okay, honestly, this is the this fun is, part. This is a better way to do it than how I did it. <laughs> and then there's another movie they show them making. They're always making dumplings. I don't know why the Chinese Asian movies, they're always making dumplings, but it's Panda awesome. Or Come to Panda. Oh my gosh, yeah. Pan kind I think they make Panda makes the dumplings look so good. He's just jumping true. all over the place for Yeah. That's pretty thin, huh? Let's just let's just start rolling a few more in here. How do you Kay. do that? Here. <laughs> Honey. Oh, do you want to use this and I'll use that? Yeah, you try that. Okay. <laughs> I was trying. I, I got it stuck in between yeah. it. Yeah. Put a little flour on the rolling pin a little bit like that. Like that. And then you're gonna have it, yeah. Oh this is I know that in the movies they have the little tiny rolling pins. That's so cute, huh? Yes, very cute. So you just roll out um, the dough into about this circle. Mm -hmm. How thin do you do? That's good. Okay. Make it pretty thin. Yeah. I should get another one. Pin. Honestly, I don't love this one because it doesn't see. Mm -hmm. Here, do you want to use that? Let's switch off. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so so we just have like, we're going to make some more. We're going to take a little break, but we have, we're going to make a few of these and then we're going to come back. Um, and make the filling, and then we're going to learn together. Yes. <laughs> no, I've seen it. I've seen it. It's gonna be so much fun. All right, so come back. Welcome back. So we've got Amy finished off the, the dumpling wrappers, and they don't have to be perfect, but they're gonna be awesome when we yeah, steam and eat it. Good. So, <laughs> so we're going to make the filling and then we're going to wrap it in cement. So we start out with either ground pork or ground chicken and about a pound. And then we want three cloves, three cloves of minced garlic, but you know me, you know, just chop a few garlic things and then one egg. Okay. So Amy, you want to go ahead and help me get the ingredients um, yes. that you want to put in there besides yes, the chopped I ones. Do. So I'm going to use, um, I'm going to do the garlic first and if you want to do the egg or whatever. Okay. So you tell me about like now when you made it though in New York. You tell me. I'm so bossy. I'm sorry. Oh, honey. it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> no, it's just I just make it. <laughs> okay. No, no but I. Tell us. It was it was very therapeutic to roll out the dumpling wrappers. 
Oh. So that was fun. Yeah. Um, no, but other than that, the hardest part was probably the dumpling wrappers because I was still trying to figure out how to, um, like, roll it out. But yeah. then I figured it out with the cup that the I cup. had. <laughs> um, and so I'd, like, use it to cut it. But this was a lot more efficient. Um, well, but, yeah. So yeah. I don't know. Is I know. It? So you know how you say it's therapeutic to roll out the dumpling? Remember in the in the all the Asian movies in Pao and they like they get sit around and then they roll and they talk and then they make dumplings. I think that's like I think we're gonna have to do that. We're gonna have a dumpling event and I think yes. you guys can do it too, right? Yes. You don't have to be Asian to make dumplings. You don't. And it's not as hard as I thought, you know, Amy. Mm -hmm. Like you think it's you do have to make the the um, dough ahead and so let it. Yes. Yes. Sit for a little bit. Okay, so sorry, I'm very garlic. bad at multitasking. No, you're good. Okay, so <laughs> I really one have, egg. So uh, I put one egg in. Okay, then we need green onions. Green onions. Okay. You have the knife for that. Okay. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Okay. Go ahead and do the soy sauce. Did you get some a measuring spoon? Go, um, go grab yes, a measuring no, spoon. Yes, no, I've got none right oh, here. Oh, awesome. Go get some. <laughs> <laughs> I do Let's it all see. the time, Amy. You know, like when you're on camera, you're thinking, oh, everybody's watching me. Um, like, but it's so not a big deal. So two tablespoons of soy sauce, I believe yeah. that's what it says. Yep. It's a soy sauce, right? Yes. Okay. So two tablespoons. Soy sauce. You can, to make it come out fast, you can actually take that plastic top really? off. Really? Yeah. So much, so much better. So I'm just chopping the green onions or scallions. Scallions are like a little bit tinier, but they're very similar in um, flavor. I'm not even sure if I even tried a, a, a scallion against the green onions. Very similar. Okay. Mm. So we have that. Yes. Okay. And what then, else? so we, did you get ginger? Oh, ginger. Oh, ginger. Okay. How much? Uh, one tablespoon of minced fresh ginger. Okay. So um, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to show you. So you make sure that you have, when you're adding fresh ginger into a filling, um, to peel oil. it. Yeah, sesame oil. Go ahead. Sesame oil. It's good stuff. And um, because you're going to eat, eat it. <laughs> so you want it minced. But if you're making like a soup, um, you don't necessarily have to peel it. You want the flavor where you can simmer it. So you don't need to peel it if you're putting it in a soup just for flavor. But yeah. as far as for um, for this purpose, we're going to do, you know, honestly, um, we're going to peel it. So honestly, if, look, I got some peeling on there. Oh, you did that so good. <laughs> I was struggling when I did it. So we just chop it. Wait, how did you peel like it? Like this. I just used my hands. Oh. You didn't watch? Oh, no, you were I watching. Didn't. No, I'm sorry. You can come back and watch the episode. I know, you can I watch will. me peel. I was, I was making sure we had everything. So, oh yeah. gosh. Okay, so I'm just gonna mince this to. It's really fine. Let me get things. Okay, yes, mince it. Nice. This is good right here. Okay. So okay. do you? How do you do your ginger? Do you not put ginger in yours? No, I do put my ginger in there. Okay. I yeah. just that was my first time. I would cut it, and uh -huh. then I think I got like an actual peeler and peeled it. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that would work. I don't know. That would work. Um, honestly. And then I just mince it like this. And mince and it, it like this. It smells so good. Oh, I, know, I love I ginger. Love it. And one time I forgot ginger, uh -huh. and so I was like, "Oh, I'll be fine without it," but it makes a big difference. Oh. So. It was still good, but it wasn't as good. So it goes in ginger. here, right? The ginger. Yes. Okay. And what else? Um, so we've got ground chicken, mm -hmm. or pork, ground chicken, mm -hmm. um, garlic, egg, tablespoon of green onions, mm -hmm. soy sauce, sesame oil, mm -hmm. and then ginger. That's it? Yeah, and then okay. I just use my hands. Yeah, go so, for it. Move okay. over here a little bit. Oh, here we okay. go. Like that? Okay. Yeah. While you're doing that, I'm going to cut the leaves for my steamer here. So you just, so go ahead and do you like just make sure it's really thoroughly or whatever? Yeah, you, you just mix it. It's just easier to mix it with your hands. Oh. So Chinese cabbage or bok choy comes in a big, huge thing. So you probably, um, and you just take it off and rinse them and wash it. And then I, I cut this part off. And for this filling, um, we don't need, we just want enough. How much does it say? I can't remember. Uh, I but think it says, I One tablespoon of chopped Chinese cabbage. Oh, well, that's not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So it's just add a little bit extra texture with the ginger in here. So oh, are you going to put this in here? Isn't that so what that's for? Yeah, it's for, so. it's for in here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not put it in here in yours? No, well, no. It's because I, I, I could never find this oh, cabbage oh, so you don't at, at put the it store. In. So oh. I didn't, but, but we can put it in now because we yeah, actually have it. we have it. So I just made, <laughs> I just made best with what I had. So yes. I forgot that was in there with yeah. the recipe. I so. think it just adds a little texture, uh, more texture to it. Yeah. So I'm going to cut it really fine though. I'm going to chop it really fine. Oh, this. Pretty fine. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this in here. Yes. 
It's a little bit more than a tablespoon, but that's okay. Oh, but good. good. The more butter. Um, and it doesn't have any salt and pepper, huh? I guess we have the sauce. No. And has it been tasting okay like that with the yeah. chopped chicken? Okay. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. good. Pretty good. I, I mean, <laughs> my companion sauce. I'm is so good, tempted so to know. try something else on it, but I guess we have the sauce and it's. Plain. You can try something on it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Do whatever you want. Don't care. <laughs> and it's got a tiny bit of sugar. In Japan, in Thailand, we cook so much with sugar, just a little bit like that. Do you know what I mean? Maybe, yeah. Maybe that was just a little bit. So bad. half a teaspoon. No. Yeah. And so. <laughs> But um, in Japan, they put sugar in everything, like a little bit here, a little bit there, when they live there. And, um, and so... Wait, how long has she lived in Japan for? Um, two years. You know, oh, my gosh. I I, my dad, Grandpa I Berberg was stationed there. I know you lived in Japan, there. I didn't know you lived there for two years. <laughs> Grandpa Berberg was stationed there, and I was in high school there. Oh. So now what I'm doing is I'm cutting the leaves to okay. put into our steamer. So let's look at our steamer. Um, I'm going to... Let's move over a little bit. Okay, you ready? Like that. Oh, well, oh, actually, over. never mind. So, I, oh. so the steamer, I want to make sure you put water under it to boil. And um, it, you just don't, about two inches. You don't want it to, to where the water comes up and touch your steamer. So I like to just test it. So I put water in there, and I put the steamer, the bamboo steamer on top. But you don't have to use bamboo. You, you also have, I've seen the metal ones that would work. Mm -hmm. But we line it with some uh, lettuce, I mean, excuse me, cabbage leaves so that they don't stick to the steamer. I haven't tried it this way, so yeah. it's new. But it'll be good. So we just put it on there. So. Yeah, you usually do the pot sticker brand, huh? The kind. Well, I would just do, I would well, put it in the wok, and then I'd fry both sides, and then I'd steam oh. it. Oh. I don't know, yeah, but that's kind of more like a so pot So I'm not going to cover it completely no, like because we things. want the steam to come up, right? Yes. So I'm just going to do this. So that should be enough to cover, to put in a... I'm going to clean off my hands. Okay, go ahead. So I'm going to do that, and then when we're ready to put our dumplings on there, we can just do that. I'm not going to boil it right now, so I'm going to put this over here. So, we're going to put this over here, so, and then when we roll the dumplings, we will have it all ready. Okay, let's put the dumplings together. This is the fun part. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't had a lot of practice, to be honest. Yeah. I usually, but I did she, see... You sent me, a, like, a dumpling press thingy, but I think I left it in New York, and so... <gasps> I know, I'm sorry. But, um, <laughs> so, I, that's what I'd usually use. So I've never oh. done it, like... Like just by hand. So okay, it'll be. I fun. think I did one. I tried it, yeah. but I was just. So let's go ahead, and I will move this over here, to the sink. Okay. Okay. Well, let's put a little bit of. We don't want our fingers. Let's put our fingers. Oh. You know what I mean? So, yes. so we put it on here. So we don't want it to stick. Okay. So we'll scoop a teaspoon. Let's put it here. Okay. Oh, you got a big one. That's good. I did. This, like a, this is about a tablespoon actually. Let me think about it. Oh, that one's. Is that too much? Um. Let's try it. And then that look, that looks that's a you lot. Don't yeah. to, you, you don't want too much because it'll overflow. Yes. Yeah, so which so I would say it's about a one and a half tablespoon. Yeah. yeah. I mean, excuse me, about about that much. <laughs> I want to say it's about a teaspoonish. Okay. okay. So what you do is you take two sides and they put it together like this. Opposites. Go ahead. You do it like this, and then you pull this up like this, like a little treasure basket, and then you pinch, oh, I bad. think. Now, okay, this is not gonna be perfect, but. Oh, that's good. What? Yeah, how so, I'm, and then I'm going to, where's that? Oh, he's right in front of me. I'm gonna, oh, look at how fun this is, you guys. Okay, now that's not the most pretty dumpling, but. Yeah, you did well. It's gonna than be me. awesome. <laughs> okay, this. so let's do it this way. Let's put it. I guess for some of them, you could few. probably put a little bit more in it. I don't know, because it's yeah, no, a bigger one. Yeah, I think that's one. good. Yeah. There's that. Oh, Amy. There, there we go. Okay, it's a little treasure box. I'm sorry, a treasure box? And we don't want it to be too close together and stick. Okay. I read, <laughs> so let's go ahead and just go ahead and start making a few more. Okay. Oh my gosh, I didn't chop that one very well. That's okay. Okay, so let's put this on here. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Perfect. Put on that one. Go ahead. Like that? Yeah. You don't want to put overfill, like Amy said, because it will um, overfill. Or, <laughs> because it will overflow. Well, mm -hmm. So we want to. You'd rather underfill than overfill, yeah? Very true. Gosh, I have some. Oh, these are cute. Yeah. Treasure box. Yeah. There we go. Okay, going. So. So how have you been? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, it's been a whirlwind, right, Amy? Because we haven't. You have been here long, and we've been doing so much. And I know. And I asked you to be on the show. So it's been good. 
I hope I'm doing this right. It, they look pretty, don't they? Yeah, they look better than mine. And then you come up here. Mine's not very. But I'm you know, on that movie, it. I forgot what that. Uh, they do movie. it so they do it like like perfectly. They kind of like they do it in one direction. How about this one, one right direction. in the middle? No, in one. <laughs> oh. Um, well, you, well, you do that. We'll do a few more. But I'm gonna start up the um, the walk and let let it heat up here. So you want to heat up the water first before yes. you put it in. Okay. So I'm going to turn the walk up. Okay, let's do a few more. Okay. And um, um, something that I would do okay. on my mission. Yes. Because, you know, I wouldn't want to make all the dumplings all at once. And mm -hmm. so I would um, make them and then I'd freeze them. Uh huh. And so then we could just pop them out and then cook them whenever oh, we wanted. Yeah. So that was nice. Like the frozen ones you can get at Macy's where it's frozen dumplings and yes. you can pull it out when you need it. Yes. Another way you could do is you can go pull it over and then fork press it with the fork yes. to make it look like hot stickers. Yeah, you can just Very fork true. it. Yeah. But I'm just going to do these the same way. So, okay. Okay, you guys, we're going to, um, I'm going to try to make this look pretty. And do another one, Amy. We're going to fin do a few more of these, although we don't want to um, crowd them. Um, I'm going be to, careful too, yeah, so we don't want to, I think this is about right here for this size of a steamer. We're going to, um, let the water boil, and then we're going to place a cup, uh, this with the lid on top. Once the boil water boils, I'm going to, we're going to just take this um, and put it into the boiling steamer, and it's so pretty, and let it steam for 10 minutes. That so would be great. We're going to take a break, yeah. and when we come back, we're going to eat them. Yay! <laughs> okay, come back. <laughs> Welcome back! I'm so excited. The timer went off, and here we are. Look at our beautiful dumplings. Like, like you see, it doesn't have to be perfect. I think it looks good. So, um, I'm so excited. Let me see how they. Perfect. Ah. Oh, nice. So we'll put the pretty ones on here. <laughs> They're all cute, though, huh, Amy? Yes. Yeah. Let's put. Yeah, those are the actual Oops. dumplings. Mine were more like pot stickers. Yeah, so you can. So Amy, tell them about how you would do the pot stickers. So you, you do the same recipe and the same. Yeah, dough. it's the same thing, and it's just depending on how you would pinch them. So mine were like more like this kind of, like a half circle, you know, the pot sticker look. And then I would fry them with oil okay. and then steam them. Like a thin layer on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. So then they both. So I have like the brown kind of look on both uh -huh. sides. Um, but I haven't, I didn't oh, really I have a steamer, so I didn't do like dumpling dumplings. Uh -huh. So this is the first time. To I do the steam dumpling. ones? Oh. Yeah. <gasps> so, first time to taste. Our first yes. time, we didn't have time to practice. <laughs> oh, that's but it's, good. But it should be good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just put this here, right here. Nice. Uh, something like that. I'm going to touch it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then let oh, me put a few it. onions okay. on it. Looks good. Maybe too much. We'll fix it. We'll let someone, Pete, fix it. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. Then we'll put some chopsticks here. And that one's ready oh, for a picture. So nice. yeah. yeah. Okay. So, Amy, let's try it. Okay. Ah. There's one so, for you. Oh, you're putting it in these little... There you go. Oh, thank you. And grab a chopstick so and one for me. I know. It's so cute. So cute. No, so, these are appetizers. But you can make um, mm -hmm. a lot. And you can... They're very filling, surprisingly. Yeah. I would only flour. eat, like, four. And I was full. Oh. My companions. And so, it's nice. Okay. Oh, let's put some sauce on it. Oh. Oh, yes. I was just... Yeah. Just pour it on there. How much sauce do you want? Like that? That's, that's You can always, great. like, get more. <laughs> And you can tell me the difference between this and if we should add sugar next time or not. Okay. Oh, put like green onion. <laughs> mm, no, we're good. Okay, let me let me see if I can grab a bite here. They taste like chicken dumplings. <laughs> I can grab. Mm, oh no, that's a lot. Mmm. Mm -hmm. You guys see that? Mm. Mm, I taste the fresh ginger. Mm -hmm. So yummy. Mm -hmm. You've got to get fresh ginger. I think I would like a, a sweeter sauce, though. This was the one that came. I think that'd be good with the dumplings. Do you like the sweeter sauce that yeah. I add a little bit of sugar? Okay, so add a little bit of sugar to your sauce, about a teaspoon or a tablespoon. There's a lot of sauce. And then you can use different meats, uh, ground turkey, uh, ground chicken. Ground, we use ground chicken. You can use ground pork. I think 
you can use um, I I, I think never pork heard would of, be good. I've never heard of a beef dumpling. I don't know. I don't think beef. I don't think beef know. dumpling. Hmm? I think it's beef dumpling. Mm. That's so cool. You can do anything, really. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. A really simple recipe. Yeah. Really yummy. And you can just freeze them when you don't want yeah. to so, them. So you make a bunch and then you steam what you want. And then um, you can put this. Go ahead and show them real quick. Mm. Sorry, so you can get it. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Mm. Well, I oh, just so put go ahead. this. And then you just get the dumplings. You just stick them in mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. And then you just keep you don't want to touch it. because you don't want because okay, I don't want to touch or you can put flour on it so they don't stick mm -hmm. and then you just keep adding it so mm -hmm. you put it in the freezer and you just think about when you're and done. Put a lid so. on top. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's awesome. Nice. Okay, yeah, so, so I'm tasting this and it's just it's really good. I, it's just flour and water. Mm -hmm. And um, you know you could probably go the thinnest, uh, the make it really really thin. Mm -hmm. I think because it seems to puff it up so. Mm -hmm. Well, good job, Amy. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming. Yeah, thanks for having <laughs> oh, she's me. Here living with us. <laughs> so, until then, happy cooking. I'm so excited for you to try making dumplings.